Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. I am back from a very long and tiring day of work. <laughs> the amount of distance, the distance I had to walk today in my shift was just ridiculous. I need to get one of those things that track your steps because all my days, today would have been record breaking. <laughs> it would have been record breaking. Usually like when, when we come into work, right, we got a set of things to do. We got a certain amount of things to do. We usually get them done in our shift. But today, it did not get done. These days happen. They don't happen very often. Usually we get things done on time, but it didn't happen today. It just didn't, we, we couldn't get everything done. So uh, the night shift will not be happy. But um, my manager said, it is what it is, you know? <laughs> It is, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it's just really hectic. It's, uh, you know, lockdown, Christmas time. Insanity! Insanity is what it is. Insanity. Anyway, um, I'm happy to be home and to be recording a video. I'm watching top 15 aircraft near miss and unusual events. This is a very dangerous type of video. I don't know why I would watch this for my enjoyment, but, uh, it might be quite interesting, so uh, yeah, without further ado, we'll just, well, I would just put my headphones on and you would do whatever and uh, let's just watch 17 minutes of madness. All right, feels good to... Taking place every day. It's only inevitable that some Did they not see the plane coming? <laughs> what on earth? Catastrophe was narrowly averted. Here are Why was he taking off like that? Misses and close calls. Okay, th this is... This has already started crazy. <laughs> US versus Russian jet. Ah. January of 2018, the US War Navy released this stunning footage of a near miss with a Russian fighter jet. Right. It was recorded by an EP3 Ares 2 plane as it was conducting a mission over the Black Sea when an okay. Su-27 jet flew across its flight path. According to Navy officials, the Russian aircraft was just five feet away and it was interpreted as an aggressive and unsafe interaction. They went at length to insist that the was that some sort of like breach Russian airspace scare and tactic? It was just the latest in a long line of Russian military activities that breached international conventions. I'm not surprised this has happened because they they both got you know a presence in those areas, like the Middle East, for example, and other areas around there. So I'm not I'm not surprised it's been a, it's been like a close like interaction between jets. It's always dangerous, you know? All it takes is like one bad thing and then you could set off a war. Airport. Crazy airport stuff. Airport workers are used to performing their duties near to large aircraft, but they're usually safe in the assumption that they won't be at the risk of being hit by a jet that's landing. That's not always the case, though. <laughs> a team of runway maintenance personnel found out in a video that was released in 2019. These six this seems like a quiet runway, tarmac, maybe not many planes. At the but how do the, the how do people like this work in at, at a place like Heathrow? In London, there's a plane like every 30 seconds at Heathrow. I'm wondering how you like manage the uh, runway when there's a plane coming in every 30 seconds. Scrambled to pick up all of their equipment and attempted to drive out of the path of the incoming aircraft. Luckily, the quick-thinking pilot didn't touch down until he had passed the workers. But it was definitely a close shave. Yeah, the pilot. Landing gears almost touching the roof. Clearly the new. Had it been just a few inches lower, there could have been a far more problematic incident. I'm surprised they didn't blow them away. San Francisco you know. International Airport. What's going on here? In July of 2017, an Air Canada plane was landing at San Francisco International Airport. Right. But due to confusion over which of the two parallel runways it was meant to land on, it very nearly hit four other aircraft before making a go around. What? Footage released of the incident shows just how. Oh, I can the see them as well. Oh my days! It was only because the other pilots turned on their lights that the plane was able to see them and take evasive maneuvers. According to the resulting NTSB report, what a save! One thousand people were at imminent risk of injury. To turn your light, turn your light on at the right time. Others. And the investigation found several errors that led it to happening. The How did they not know which which runway it was? And mistakenly heard the wrong runway to land. But there's got to be like lighting to let you know, right? In air traffic control, meaning there weren't enough people watching what was happening. Measures have now been put in place. And there's, and there's specific communication, right? There should be the airport communication. Like this can ever happen again, because if it did, next time people may not be quite. Hey, smart. someone was at fault. Like the pilot could be blamed a little bit, but. What, was there any communication there? Like, what was? Uh, I need more detail. Popular pastime around the world, and while everyone who takes part are made aware, don't tell me another plane comes in. They face when their lives are in the hands of a parachute. 
there are some things that can happen that no one can prepare for. In 2014, a skydiving instructor was performing a tandem jump with a guest like he had done hundreds of times before. Right. And on this occasion, things were different. For some reason, after exiting the plane, the pilot decided to make a 180 degree dive and can be seen flying extremely close to the people in freefall. There was so little distance between them that the drogue and the bridle of the parachute can be seen getting caught up in the wing. But fortunately, it came free once the plane passed. It's All a miracle right. they didn't collide. To this day, the instructor has no idea That's a bit why mad. the pilot made the maneuver. One thing's for sure, though. He'll never board a plane with him again. <laughs> Who was that pilot? <laughs> Does he still have a, still have a job? Tokoroa Airfield. What's this? The Tokoroa Airfield serves the town of Tokoroa on New Zealand's North Island. And it's regularly it looked, it looked, it looked like he was trying to turn into him there flights. from the angle. In 2017, a novice pilot almost learned the hard way how important it is to make sure the runway is clear because he flew into the path of another light aircraft and they very nearly collided. Unbelievable. He already made one attempt to Surely he would have seen him. Fly around for another try after failing to line up. I guess he'll look at the runway, but come on. Concentrating on how to touch down successfully the next time. He forgot to keep aware of the movements of other planes in the area and only pulls up just in time to avoid a crash. Hmm. The other pilot had no chance to try to avoid an incident and had to continue along his heading. I think quite a few of these people a stroke of luck. Because if he tried Might not be in a job team, anymore. They've gone straight into each other. Number ten. How low can you go? Fighter. Held around the world to give oh, airship. Okay, I thought it was a fighter jet. It, I mean, it is. Historic aircraft. But I thought it was like in a war zone. Never mind. Pilots get caught up in the excitement of the display, and they forget about the importance of ensuring public safety. Yeah. One of the most dangerous maneuvers a fighter jet can do is fly at extremely low altitudes. During a display at a show in Argentina, a pilot decides to take his IA-63 Pampa advanced trainer perilously close to both the tarmac and the crowd. Okay, so knots, I thought that was the guy taking off. I was just like, why are you taking off like that? Gs That's even worse. At just a few feet above the ground. Why would you do that? Pilot, who was probably an instructor, was clearly skilled enough to keep control of the craft and avoid the people. And he definitely got sacked. I'm sorry, but I, I, <laughs> if I was his boss, I'd be like, get out of here. <laughs> other events have led to the dismissal of everyone involved. But in this case, oh, this everyone. Okay. Away with Dis it. Oh my days. Number nine. Absolutely ridiculous. Feet. When you're traveling in an aircraft, it's often a calming experience to look out of the window. You can see further across the landscape. <laughs> can you imagine looking out the time. window and you see a damn perhaps you'll see a another plane coming at you? But surely the last thing you'd expect to see is another plane flying incredibly close to your own. A passenger on an Aer Lingus flight found themselves in this frightening situation Aer Lingus. in 2019 during a journey between Dublin and Lisbon. He saw the other plane and its jet stream and immediately reached for his phone to record it. It is, of course, difficult to determine the distances involved here, but the two yeah, jets true. were definitely flying too close for comfort. Indeed. Luckily, they both passed without incident, and when the authorities investigated, they found that no further action needed to be taken. Well, I guess there was no crash. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top Fives. Yeah, there must be like some sort of like distance barrier, right? Not a barrier, but like helicopter and there's got to be some sort of rules because I've seen planes outside plane windows and they're like really far away from you. They never get too close, so they definitely uh, breach some restrictions there. They come with a lot of restrictions on where and when you can operate them, which may at times seem like overly draconian measures. So you see videos of near misses with aircraft, however, you soon realize these rules are there for a valid reason, and if an accident were to occur, it could endanger a lot of lives. Fair enough. This footage was recorded by a drone that was flying off the coast of Hollywood in order to capture spectacular panoramic imagery. As it pans around, it doesn't seem it's like very high up. nearby danger. But suddenly, a helicopter appears out of nowhere and is flying directly towards the drone. It shoots past within several feet of it, and the two could have very easily collided. Yeah, that could have been Instantly catastrophic. To the FAA, who confirmed that the drone operator was in the wrong. Yeah. On this occasion, they took no further action except for insisting that the drone's owner reacquainted himself with the regulations. Number seven, plane. I got no problem with people the... using drones. You know, it's it's, it's a the cool thing. Most of us use for flights, are but uh, yeah, not that high. <laughs> Especially like a touristy place, aircraft. where there'll be helicopters so running around. Facilities that are used by fixed-wing planes will often be. Used and yes, I saw that crash just too. now. <laughs> not shocked by it at all. 
Of course, this is totally fine as long as the pilots and drivers are aware of the situation and listen right. to instructions to avoid an incident. Okay. In 2012, things didn't entirely go to plan at a Texas airport, however, when a novice pilot was coming into There we go. Replay. At the exact same time, an SUV driver who later claimed to have not been aware they were driving through an airport drove into the plane's path and with no time to react they didn't know with the they were driving the through an airport luckily the pilot survived with only minor injuries what about the driver people inside the car that complained the most about what had happened the airport complained the most the the you drove exactly into an airport without blowing completely on the drive. you see that runway next to you what do you think that is number six do you think that's a freeway that that they stopped building because they got bored number of things they have to be absolute twats <laughs> Well, this is just an everyday part of the job. I could see them Sometimes not knowing it's an airport, but come just on. One moment come on. Frighteningly close call. My it's days. Of how alert they what did they think it was anyway? Shows what happened in Vancouver, British Columbia in 2019 when an RJ-85 air tanker was helping to tackle a raging fire. All right. It flew as close to the ground as it could before releasing the red-colored fire retardant to limit the inferno spread. The pilot, however, was so focused on hitting his mark that he overlooked the mountain ridge that Almost lay ahead hit it. and only had a split second to pull up in time to avoid it. Jeez, even, even, even when you're not in the fire, wingtips, you're still risking your life trying to put it out. Jeez. Was. In a plane? After the event, the pilot admitted he had been so concerned with... It must be so hard to get that accurate. Lower than had been like, I struggled to do that in a game. There's missions like that on GTA, where you have to put out a fire like that. Recent missions. Many in the I find it so hard in the game. The unusual hazards Imagine it in real life. Especially when trying to How do you time it? Missions like this one. And in also five, not crash. Barcelona El Prat Airport. In 2014, an Uter Boeing 767 with 260 passengers on board was making its final approach into Barcelona's El Prat Airport when an Airbus A340 from Aerolinas Argentina oh, suddenly dear. began taxiing across the runway. Luckily, it was a clear day and the 767 pilot was able to see what was happening and aboard yeah. the landing in time to avoid a collision. Is that another plane in the background as well? To make a safe landing just a few minutes later. But it could have been very different. Yeah, it could have. In the aftermath, the 767 pilot was interviewed and said there had been a catalog of errors. The captain of the Airbus had apparently ignored instructions to wait by the side of the runway. And at a key moment, when it had become clear that the Airbus had... Was he sacked? The order, communication from air traffic control was <laughs> silent. Presumably because the operator panicked and didn't know what to do. The 767 pilot was forced to take matters into his own hands and regain altitude to avoid a catastrophe. And it was only because of his quick thinking that tragedy was averted. Wow. Quite why the Argentinian pilot ignored the instruction despite acknowledging has never been revealed. But it just goes to show how alert pilots have to be. Yeah. Because even if someone else says be very alert. to do one thing, I'd never do this job. <laughs> I know a guy who wants to be a pilot. I mean, he actually does. He, he actually has flown a plane before. Number four, St. Martin. Princess but I, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> Oh, I know about this airport. can be seen near airports around the world, trying to get into the perfect position to see which aircraft are landing and taking off. It's mad next to a beach, though. If you want to get up close with planes, there's nowhere quite like the Princess Juliana Airport on the island of San Martin in the Caribbean. With limited flat available land for a runway, this one was constructed next to the ocean, but amazingly, just at the end of the runway beyond the airport perimeter is a public beach. And yeah. It fills up with visitors. Isn't that like really dangerous? Like, couldn't it blow people away as well when it if it hits the ground near the beach? Evil is it's just it's mad. I know they got limited land, but still, lower than a hundred feet above the sand. That's mad. dangerous. The jet winds stir up the sand. Yeah, jet wind. Known to send people flying to the ground, and despite warnings to stay out of the flood, that's what I meant. There's always someone. I don't know. It was called jet wind. While it might seem safe and just a bit of fun, there's a serious risk here. Several people have died over the years after getting too close. And it's still open! Still, for the most unusual plane experience in the world... <laughs> Is there not space on the other side to, like, extend to the runway? So, like, you don't have to head next, right next to the beach? Okay, there's mountains. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Watch your head. Tom Richard I've seen this. I've seen this. The world to put on I've seen this particular clip. I don't know. I can't remember where, but I've seen it. nearly cut short in 2016 with a frightening near miss that took place on a Nevada. I don't know he was Olympics. the pilot, but I've seen the clip of the two planes. The gold Formula One event at the Reno National yeah. Championship. Yeah, I remember seeing this. But just as he was about to take off, his engine started to sputter. 
He was I think I saw down. saw this in one of the uh, marshals that there was an issue. Try not to look away challenges. Failed to receive the message. They continued along the runway, and the central one only just managed to. One of those videos where. Its wings still collide. Where they show you things that are hard to look at. I think I, this was in there. And the propeller cut look how close that was. Right wing. Had the approaching plane been just a few inches in the other direction, this could have easily been a fatal incident. Luckily for all involved, it wouldn't have been on video if that case. happened. Richard was flying again in a matter of days. Although the plane he had been in was a total write off. Number two. C-17 flying You see, if, if, if you're not flying the plane, the just city of Brisbane and Australia live out the way. <laughs> called River Fire. Don't a park in the runway. Display and a series of other Got a bit of Australia, that's. In 2018, the Royal Australian Air Force performed a flyby with a Boeing C-17 plane. But what came next would frighten people across the city. What? It was widely condemned as being unnecessarily stupid and dangerous. Any of you know about this? <laughs> Let me know. aircraft flew very close to the ground and towards the skyscrapers of the CBD. What? Witnesses were convinced it was about to strike into them. But a perfectly timed maneuver saw it fly above them just in time. There's no doubt that this was a brilliantly executed stunt. That it was. A great deal of planning to pull off. Had the pilot made one mistake, yeah, it would no. undoubtedly been catastrophic. He must have been a good pilot, but jeez, why risk it? And that there were protocols in place in case Especially for a plane that big. Incapacitated. And I mean, to be fair, small planes do us a lot of damage, but still. Simulator. Many that residents big. remained unconvinced, though, and it's unlikely the Air Force will be trying anything like this again anytime soon. It's the Air Force as well. Well, I already knew that, but still. Number one. They should be more skilled than regular off. pilots. And, they, and he was clearly because he avoided the buildings. Celebrate special events, show off new aircraft designs, or to entertain the masses at air shows. But 2012 residents of LA were treated to arguably the most special flyby to have ever taken place. Yeah, kind of is. The Endeavor had completed its final mission and was being transported to its final resting place as an exhibit at the California Science Center. Don't tell me it blew up Rather or than something. Driving it all the way, it was taken to the city on the back of the Seven Forty Seven. But before landing at the airport, it was taken for an aerial tour around the city. It didn't fall off, did it? Alongside all of the major landmarks, such as the Golden Gate Bridge, the Hollywood sign, and the Los Angeles skyline. It was then seen making a low pass over the airport. I need to visit California. The final time. There's a lot of places to see, to see there. were a part of a once-in-a-lifetime event, and it reminded everyone how inspirational... I should spend a month in California. <laughs> That'd be sick. Subscribe to Top okay. for more and check out some of our apologies. I wasn't really listening to that last one, to be fair. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, that was top 15. This video, I think this channel is called Top Fives, but it's a top 15. Uh, top 15 aircraft near miss and unusual events. Uh, I did not expect the commentary. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was just gonna be a compilation of aircraft nearly, <laughs> nearly hitting. But uh, yeah, that, that that was pretty cool. That 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 was pretty. No, it wasn't. It wasn't cool. But it was. Uh, I don't know what the word is. I, I don't know what the word is to be honest. But but it was something. Yeah, there we go. It was something. This series is almost over. We got at least another request or two that I, um, I don't know if I'm gonna do them or not. I need to see what they are first. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and think of things if I don't get requests and. Uh, this series will be over very, very soon. I'm getting deliveries Monday and Tuesday. I'm, I'm excited. I'm getting some things. On Tuesday, I'm getting my Xbox. And on the 19th, I'm getting my PS5. I think in the US and Australia and some other country, you get it on the 12th, the PS5. For the UK, it's the 19th. So we got to wait an extra week. <laughs> it's, it's weird, because like I ordered another controller and a PS camera and a charging dock. All of them are coming on the 12th, but the PS5 itself is a week later. So they're sending me the accessories a week before. They're sending it on the US release date. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's, it's weird. But at least I get my Xbox on Tuesday. So I'll have that for nine days. I'm going to buy Forza. I'm going to buy two Forza games. I'm just going to play those until the PS5 comes out. Anyway, uh, yeah, I got three weeks off work from Monday onwards. So, uh,. Expect the daily uploads to continue. AFO will be back. Evolution should be back as well. And I'm hoping to go daily on my uh, second channel to hopefully 
personal channel might vlog a bit more as well and then streams on twitch will be as usual maybe more who knows this is your boy davidoff please like share subscribe thanks for watching have a good day and see you.